Welcome to the video solution single electron transistor. In this exercise we are going to consider a single electron transistor that is described schematically as shown here. A metallic island where electrons are confined, here labeled as zero, is tunnel coupled to electron reservoirs called SIRS and drain. In this case they are labeled as 1 and 2. By changing the voltage on a gate that is capacitively coupled to the metallic island, the number of electrons on the island can be changed. This is possible because there is tunnel coupling of the SIRS and drain to the metallic island. The electrons on the island induce charges on the capacitances. The charges on the metallic objects in the system are given as follows. This is a very general form where Qi is given as the sum from j equals 0 to n of Cij times Vj plus some offset in charge. And this offset uh, in charge, which is basically the charge without um, any voltages being applied, um, here we assume that this part is zero. So we can write that Q is equal to C times V. So this is the uh, matrix equation that we get where C is the capacitance matrix. which uh, relates uh, Q and um, the voltage applied to the different gates. Now in the first part of the exercise um, we shall describe the capacitance matrix um, of the system. Now let's first consider the, the general form of this uh, capacitance matrix which reads as follows. So this is the uh, capacitance matrix uh, which contains in total 16 elements. Now um, first of all we can uh, derive a condition for the sum of the elements in a row of the uh, capacitance matrix. So the condition for C for the elements in a row, so the sum of j equals 1 to n c i j and this is equal uh, to zero. Um, so why is that so? So the reason is that um, if um, all the potentials um, in the system are changed by um, an amount, uh, let's call it a delta phi, then the change of the charge, let's call that a delta qi, um, needs to be at zero. So we can write that as zero is equal to delta qi, which is given as the sum of j equals one to n cij delta phi j. Right, so this is basically just this term here. Um, okay, so, so so what follows now from from this condition? Um, so let's uh, consider the first row of the matrix. So for example, um, zero is equal to c not not plus c zero one plus c 0, 2 plus C, 0, 3. So therefore we can write um, that C, 0, 0, which um, we, we um, set as uh, C sigma, so C sigma equivalent to um, C, 0, 0 
is given as minus c01 minus c02 minus c03. And um, as this C sigma is now um, the, the self capacitance of the met metallic island, um, it is larger than zero. So it's the self capacitance. Um, and well, therefore it follows that um, C01, C02 and C03 are smaller than zero. So um, we can now start to um, basically um, adapt this, this form to the system we, we actually have here. So um, first of all this C00 um, zero zero is given as C sigma. Um, then um, the, the capacitance is uh, C1, uh, C2 and uh, Cg um, well, they are also larger than zero, so um, the, the elements C01, C02 and C03 are defined as the negative of these capacitances. So um, C01 is minus C1, C02 is minus C2 and C03 is minus Cg. So um, Right, note that um, basically the index Cg is, um, uh, or the index G uh, is equivalent to the uh, index 3, basically, so 0, 3. Um, okay, so let's now continue with the second row. So um, for the second row, only the um, self capacitance and um, the um, source um, capacitive coupling um, to the to the island um, have to be taken into account. So this coupling here and also the self capac uh, and also the self capacitance capacitance C1. So um, the second row can be written as minus C1, C1, 0, 0. So the sum of the rows here is again uh, 0. And well, the, the same applies now for um, the um, train and gate, which are in the rows um, two and three. So we can write um, minus C2, zero, C2, zero. And well, also the gate is capacitively coupled to, these, to the island. So we have minus Zg, zero, zero, Zg. So, um, this is the uh, capacitance matrix that was asked in the first part um, of the exercise. Now let's uh, continue with the uh, second part of the exercise. Um, there the task is to calculate the electrostatic um, potential on the island. Um, so what we can do, we can use um, the equation written down here and solve that um, for V0 which is, well, the potential on this uh, metallic island. So um, if we do that, um, we get the following equation. So this is um, the expression that we get where, um, well, uh, V dot is equal to this voltage V zero, and it's given by the sum of, of these two terms. Um, now as, um, we know that um, the, the charge on, on the dot on, on this island is uh, quantized in units of the electron charge. So um, what we can do, we can uh, rewrite um, this equation here um, as follows. So, um, well, if we consider this quantization, so Q dot is equal to minus e times mm, an integer n. Um, we can rewrite the first term like this. And um, also what we can do, we can now plug in the voltages which are given. So we have minus uh, v over two for, for um, capacitor one. We have v over two for capacitor three, uh, two. And we have the voltage u um, for the capacitor three, so for, for Cg. Um, now what we do is that we 
um, write that as 1 over c sigma um, minus e n plus q, which will simplify the further um, expressions where we define um, q as uh, minus c1 um, v over 2 plus c2 v over 2 plus zg times u. In uh, the third part um, of the exercise, mm, we are now asked to derive an expression for the electrostatic energy of the system. So, third part, um, electrostatic, electrostatic. the system and this is given as the energy to charge the metallic um, the metallic island with n electrons Um, so what needs to be done is basically that um, that v dot uh, times the q dot need to be integrated from zero to minus e times n. So energy e of n is given as integral from zero to minus e times n v dot d q dot. Um, and while well, the result of this equation um, is n e squared over 2 c sigma minus e times n over c sigma times q, um, where we used um, the equation here for, for the v dot. So these terms are integrated, just um, the terms here. And what we now can do, we can uh, rewrite this expression as uh, n e squared over 2 c sigma minus sum over j equals 1 to 3 of e n alpha j v j. So what we did here is um, that um, we used now um, the definition of the lever arms with definition of lever arms um, alpha j equal to cj over c1 plus c2 plus cg Um, so, so this is used to um, to simplify or to rewrite the the equation um, in in that way. Um, so now at this point um, we we are asked for an intuitive uh, interpretation um, of the meaning of of the lever arms. So um, we can do that by uh, having a look at um, the expression here. So um, the first interpretation would be that um, alpha j times um, one volt is um, the electrostatic potential um, that is created on the um, single electron transistor by a unity voltage um, on the electrode j. Now we can also come up uh, with a second um, interpretation um, where um, we consider um, this alpha j times um, the, the electron charge E as um, 
the fraction of um, the induced charge on the electrode um, if a single electron um, is placed on uh, the uh, metallic island. So these are the two um, different um, interpretations of, of this lever arm. Now let's come to uh, the last part of the exercise. Um, there um, the change of the induced charges um, for tunneling of one electron to the island of the single electron transistor um, has to be calculated. Um, in addition, um, we are asked to um, um, derive um, the change of the electrostatic energy due to mm, this tunneling process. So let's start again by um, using the equation star um, for the induced charges. So come to part 4 here. Um, so from star we can write that qi is given as the sum over j equals 0 to 3, cij, vj. So these are the induced charges. So um, let's have a look at that, for example, for um, Q1. For example, for Q1, um, this is given as C10 V0 plus C11 V1 plus C12 V2 plus C13 V3. Okay, so now um, V0 uh, is uh, V dot, which we just calculated here. Um, also, we know that um, there is um, no capacitive coupling between 1 and 2 and 1 and 3. So this is these capacitances are both equal to 0. So um, Q1 is given as C1 over C sigma E times N minus Q. So the Q uh, defined here um, minus v uh, sorry, C1 V over 2. Um, well, we, we can use the same to, to, um, to write down it, the expressions for Q2 and Q3. So Q2 is given as C2 over C sigma uh, E times n minus q plus c2 uh, v over 2 because we have here like a, a different potential at these two at the source and the drain and um, q3 um, can be written as cg over c sigma E times n minus q plus cg times u. Um, now for um, having an electron tunneling, so electron tunneling to um, the uh, metallic island of the um, SET, so n becomes n plus 1. Um, the uh, change of, um, of these induced charges um, for, for basically um, um, 1, um, 2 and 3, um, qi is given as ci over c sigma times e. And uh, one can one can directly see that by having a look at at the expressions we got for Q1, Q2, and Q3 here. So this will drop out, and we will only get this part of of the term, and this is just um, the result here. And we can rewrite that as um, alpha i times e, and 
well, as I already said, so i is equal to 1, 2, and 3. And um, so, so basically what, what is now the sum of the, of, of the change of the induced uh, charges, so delta q1 plus delta q2 plus delta q3, well, this is for sure equal to um, the electron charge E. I mean, this is the charge that tunneled um, to, to, the, to the metallic island. And um, so, um, well, this is true because um, alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 is equal to 1, um, which one can directly see from, from the definition of, of the lever arms from the um, from this previous equation so let's now come to the uh, final um, task of this exercise um, so there we are asked to calculate the change in the electrostatic energy um, and we can do that using the equation derived here for e of n so um, the change of the electrostatic energy, let's call it delta E, is given as E of n plus 1 minus E of n. And, um, well, by just plugging that in here, um, one can see that this results in e squared over c sigma and plus one half plus e over c sigma times q. So this was um, the solution of the exercise single electron transistor.